All right, we're out here in Brenham, Texas today, and we're working on a, an Apollo 7351 Slygate operator. And just a tech tip, you can't wire your 20-watt panels straight to the battery like they did. They'll damage the batteries. So you want to bring them in to the solar panel uh, connection on the 1050 board, or you want to wire it into its own regulator that's separate and then go to the battery. But a 20-watt panel can't be pumping directly into a battery. They will damage the batteries, and, and then you're buying buying them because they're, they're boiling them out basically. All right, so we're gonna reroute this solar panel. So up here, we need to take this connector off the board. We need to strip the solar panel. All right, cut the ring connectors off that they had on them. You don't need to add a blocking diode into the 1050 board. The 1050 board will regulate the solar panel directly. It'll regulate up to 30 watt panel. These wires are very delicate, very fine. We'll clean up this wiring here in a little bit. But for right now, we have to apply the power to the board, and you have to come in here and make sure your charger is turned on on the board. And the standby for solar mode is turned on on the board. So they bypass the safety equipment out here. No comment. Okay, gate close of functions. This has been out here for a while. All right, go down to your charger and see it's on. But you want to answer okay to all the following questions. Depending on the firmware version, it may ask you up to five different questions. And then you want to also go and turn your standby on, which this one's already on for 20 seconds. But now, to regulate the solar panel to maintain the battery, okay? But you got to make sure that your standby and your charger are turned on on your board. Now, let's see what the incoming... Well, yeah. So, here's another tech tip. On these 1050 boards, the contacts to the buttons uh, can get oxidized over time. And sometimes you'll have to come in here and... You'll have to click on the button several times to get them to finally function again. But if you're patient and you keep clicking it, it'll eventually start working. So this board proved me wrong. This is the first time I ever run into one. We've we've clicked that display button so many times that we haven't been able to get it active again. We give up. We, the reason why I wanted to go into display mode is I wanted to go in and, and check the solar input to the board and it would have gave me a, a voltage reading output. So I'm going to show you the old school way of checking to see if your solar panel is actually charging your battery. So this is where your, your clamp amp meter comes in handy again. So this is one of those things that most techs don't have, but good God, this can be really helpful. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna check for uh, amperage, and in this case, milliamps. We're gonna zero out the meter. And then I press the hold button, clamp it on to your main feed to your board, unplug the solar panel connection, okay? Turn off the hold, so the board's using about uh, 20 milliamps, right? And while you're reading that, plug in the solar panel. See, it went to a negative amperage reading. So that means it's pumping 500 to 700 milliamps out into the battery from the solar panel. So the charger's doing its job, solar panel's doing its job. That's what you want to see. Now, see, watch if I unplug this solar panel connection, it's going to a positive power draw again. All right. All right.